Hey everyone, my name is Trevor Daly with MagMod, and today I wanted to share with you some photos from a recent wedding shoot. Now this is a real wedding. I thought it would be fun to bring a video crew along and actually capture some behind the scenes. That way I can share some photos, kind of talk about how I created them, but also show you some behind the scenes video so you can actually see the footage and exactly how my lights were set up. So basically what we have here is this is Cole and Giselle on their wedding day. Now the interesting thing about this wedding was they were getting married in August in Arizona. Now, anyone who has been in Arizona in August knows it is incredibly hot. It was about 110 degrees. What we want to do is we did not want to shoot in the afternoon because <laughs> it's just too hot. So what I did is I met Giselle and Cole about two or three days prior to their wedding. We actually shot their first look at 5.30 in the morning. The idea was that we wanted to shoot this before it got too hot. And so this first look is, is kind of unique in that I typically don't do first looks when I need flash. And so what I was trying to do here is I didn't have a second shooter, I was just shooting by myself. So I'm going for the, the safe shot. I'm going for the where I can see both of them. But I wanted two flashes set up so I have plenty of light no matter if I want to move left or right and capture any kind of emotion. And so I have one light to the left with my focus fuser and that was my main light. You can actually tell by looking at the shadow. My light on the right was basically my fill light. That's a pattern I like to use a lot, is kind of using those two lights. One is kind of a main, the other one's kind of a fill to kind of fill in those shadows. So that was our first look. Now, right after that, I took them right out in front of the temple here where they're married. And I actually did a shot where I wanted to show this, this looks like maybe 20 minutes after sunset. But again, this is actually about 15 minutes before sunrise. Now, I wanted the temple to be kind of this silhouette in the background, just a very soft silhouette with a little bit of ambient light coming through the windows. And then I wanted my light on Giselle and Cole to be very soft. And so again, using the Magbox 24, I brought it in about three feet from them. And it was just to my left, just outside my shoulder here. And basically, I had them look towards that light. Now on this shot, I'm underexposing the scene quite a bit. If, if I had not used a flash, they would have been extremely dark. They would have looked like silhouettes, in fact. Again, my idea here is I want to show a lot of that cloud structure, right? A lot of the, the, the sky, the blue. And you're going to see that's kind of a theme as well that I, I like to do is I don't like to blow out my skies. I don't want them to be super white. And so I'm using flash to kind of balance that. So after that shot, I actually took them, I had them go right there in front of the temple again. And you can see now that this shot is not nearly as dark as the last one. The temple now is lit up and they're lit up. Now, had I done this natural light, you guys, they would have again looked dark in the scene because I had to under underexpose this to be able to bring that cloud structure out. In fact, if you look at the behind the scenes footage, you're going to see that you don't see shadows on the ground in the video. And the reason is because it was still dark outside. And so what I'm doing here is I'm underexposing the scene about a stop and then I'm adding a flash on the couple. Again, one to the left and one to the right, just at a lower power. It's a little bit further back. And so it's just an extra fill. My main light is to my left and I'm adding that on them and I'm, I'm starting at a low power. So here's the key. If, if you don't want your photos to look very flashy, then underexpose your scene by about a stop. And then I basically will just add a flash at a very low power and I'll keep increasing that power every few shots just to see. Now, the difference between doing that versus ETTL or TTL is, is those settings are gonna, they're gonna throw a lot of flash power typically on your couple. So I like to do it in manual flash, but I like to just slowly increase, starting low and slowly increase my flash power until I find this good balance between the ambient and flash. Here's another one's exact same setup, doing the exact same thing. Just basically trying to balance that flash with the ambient light. From there, I actually turned the couple around. So this is a great shot because you can see that the sun has not risen yet. The sun, this is, now I'm shooting into where the sun is rising. Again, we've done all this in the last 15 minutes from the first look to these photographs that you've seen. The sun is still yet to come up over that horizon and now I'm shooting right towards it. I'm using the palm trees as kind of my leading lines going into the couple and then right nice and close to them, about two feet from them, I have a Magbox 24 with a soft fabric diffuser. I have one more light behind them, giving them just a kiss of rim light. That's the Magbox with the focus diffuser. But you can see that using the Magbox now, I get these soft, buttery, smooth shadows. And the key to getting those is getting that light in nice and close. You're gonna see in this next shot, I actually had them face towards each other. I'm using the exact same setup. Now guys, previously when I did this kind of stuff, it was very difficult to get these beautiful soft shadows. In other words, the shadows under their chin where it's just kind of wrapping and, and you can see just the smooth gradient on his cheek and back towards his neck. It was difficult to do this. And you know, we'd use the MagSphere, MagBalance, those kinds of products. I love them, I've been using them for four years, but what I love about using the MagBox 24 is now I can actually have that on set with me in a small portable compact way and be able to have that light when I need to get that smooth buttery soft light when I want that. So. Now, once I nailed that, I was like, all right, let's go back towards the temple. We're gonna turn ourselves back around. We're gonna shoot towards the temple again. But again, the idea here is I want to actually create it, make it looking 
very natural. I didn't want this to look flashy. I didn't want all their photographs to look like they were done with flash. And so here, once again, I'm underexposing my scene by about maybe a half to one stop. And then I'm adding that flash, one left, one right, low power, and just adding just a tiny bit of light on them. Now you can tell flash is used because look at his shoe. Uh, look at the shadow coming off the shoe there. Look at the shadow on her neck. So there's just a little bit of dimension in the photograph, which is what I'm looking for, but, but I want it to balance out perfectly with that ambient. So again, the key is use a larger light source like the Magbox 24, and then start at a lower flash power. This shot, I basically just had the couple look towards each other, exact same setup. The only thing I did differently was I moved my light on the right just a little bit further back to kind of add that little kiss of light or fill light on the back of her dress. And then basically had my mag box uh, with the focus diffuser on the left-hand side. Got myself nice and low, dialed down my exposure just a little bit more, maybe a stop and a half, maybe even possibly two stops because I really wanted to show that cloud structure that was happening in the sky. And I want to bring out that really blue sky. Now again, guys, if I would expose this photograph without using flash just to get my couple properly exposed, my sky would have been white. I would have, I would have lost all the color in my sky. Photograph here is the exact same thing. I just had them look right towards each other. You can see the only difference between this one and the last one is I underexposed just a little less. My light setup is exactly the same. Those two lights to the side. It's inspired essentially by stage lighting. If you go to any kind of theater production, you're always gonna see a light on the left and a light on the right. Basically they do that so that you have this great dimension, but you're also getting the what they call key light and a fill light. This next shot, it was getting hot. I mean, by this time, it's already like 95 degrees, which it sounds unbearable and it, and it really was. We found some shade under this these columns here. You know, we thought, hey, let's try to do some shots in here. Now the problem is, again, there's no direction of light. I'm going for that natural look. I want it to look like we shot this when the sun was, you know, bright, but I also want to make sure I control the shadows. So I'm using a mag box to my right, and then I'm putting one behind them, again, just for that little kiss of rim light. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the mag box behind them. I could have used a mag grid, a mag snoop, mag bounce, but in this situation, when I've already had them set up and I'm moving them around, it just made it super easy just to put one there. What I want to do next was I actually wanted to put both of those mag boxes behind them, make it look like I get this incredible sun rim light behind the couple. And so I have these both turned up very high power. I'm basically blasting light behind them and creating this incredible sun looking flare behind them. Now, the only thing I wish I would have done differently in this set is put CTO gel inside the mag box. I'm not used to gelling my soft boxes. I've never been able to do that in the past. And so it didn't even dawn on me at the time, but as I was looking back through these photographs, I was thinking, oh, I should have added a CTO gel. And that's what's so nice about the mag boxes. It's so easy to do is just unzip it, snap it in there and you're, you're good to go. And this shot, I basically had the couple turn towards each other, have the under the veil, get a little bit of texture. And again, it looks just like the sun is coming through that veil when in reality we were in the shade, there's no sun in the shot. It was all done with these mag boxes. Now I did turn them up full power so that the light bouncing off the columns is illuminating their faces in front as well. All right, so now we move back out into the, into the sun. If you look behind this photograph here, you're gonna see that the sun is starting to come up behind those trees. What I wanted to do here was I used one light to my left with a focus diffuser. I had that as my main light, and then I moved one light behind them to the right, and that's just my little extra rim light. I did that one there, and then I did the exact same thing here with this photograph. No change on the setup. Basically, uh, for, I call this my backpack hug. It's essentially just uh, you know the, the brides coming up behind, getting really close to the groom. So I love this shot as well. And essentially, again, it's, it's all done with those two mag boxes. And look how beautiful that light is, just nice and soft and smooth. It's like a perfect headshot light. I mean, it's so easy and so simple to use. So guys, if you enjoyed uh, this video, we're gonna be doing a lot more of these uh, where we're going out and we're capturing behind the scenes footage of shoots that I do, of other amazing photographers that are out there uh, using MagMod products. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the little bell for notifications. That way you'll get an email when these, these videos do go out. Um, and give us a little like if you enjoy these videos. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, put those below and I'll be sure to answer those for you. So thanks for tuning in guys.